Dear Tim and Moby, even though Moby doesn't really do anything, he just asks a bunch of questions and it's really no help to, at all to actually answering the main question. He just makes these random beeping noises that no one can understand except for Tim. Oh, and the stupid jokes that you do at the end are not funny. They're just really cheesy. What is the life cycle of a star? From Zosimus. He sees Zosimus. Star starts as a stellar nebula. Gravity pulls some of the gas and dust in the nebula together, forming a main sequence star. A main sequence star shines as nuclear fusion produces light and heat. As the star ages and cools, it turns into a red giant. BB. Shut up, movie. As the star continues to age, it burns off the last of its hydrogen during nuclear fusion. This exposes its inner core. When gravity finally causes the star to collapse, it turns into a white dwarf. The final stage of the star's life is the black dwarf stage. At this stage, the star no longer emits light. Beep beep. Well, no, that's not the only path the star can take. The star is really fat, like your mom might be. Then instead of turning into a red giant, it turns into a red super giant. Then it explodes into a supernova! After the explosion, the star turns into a very dense neutron star. Or, instead of turning into a neutron star, it could turn into a black hole. A black hole has no nuclear fusion, causing it to implode. Beep, beep, beep. Yes, that is true. Black holes suck all matter, including life. Off the last of its hydrogen gas during nuclear fusion. This is this exposes. <laughs> <laughs>